For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Starcraft Special Chunky but you can use whichever yarn you prefer. And for this particular yarn I'm using a 6mm crochet hook. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. You want to begin by creating your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. Insert your hook and we're going to start with our foundation chain. Your foundation chain needs to be in multiples of two. So it's just yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's four. Continue to build your chain until you reach the width of the project that you want. Pause the video and meet me back once you've done. Once you have built your chain, we're then going to work back along the chain itself. We're not going to work into this first stitch, we're going to work into this second stitch just here. And we're going to begin by doing a double crochet. This is the UK term, this is known as single crochet in the US. So insert your hook straight into that chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook, grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. We're now going to do a treble crochet into that same space. In the US this is known as a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have three loops on the hook, grab the yarn, pull through two loops, you'll have two loops on the hook and then grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. We're now going to skip the next chain and work into the chain after that. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to do a double crochet, which is single in the US. And then we're going to do a treble crochet into that very same space. Skip a stitch and repeat. Double crochet, and treble crochet. You're now going to pause the video and repeat that all along your chain and meet me back when you have two stitches remaining. So I've now worked my way along the chain and I have my last two chains remaining. As normal we're going to skip the next stitch and we're just going to do one double crochet into the last stitch. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. We're then going to chain one and turn our work and in this very first stitch just at the bottom of the chain two just here we're going to go ahead and do the same pattern so we're going to do a double crochet and then a treble crochet. We're going to skip a stitch which is this one just here and then work into the next one so again we're going to do a double crochet and a treble crochet. You're going to work that all along this row and meet me back once you've got to your last few stitches. So once you get to the end of this row you see that the last two stitches almost land on a curve. So we're going to skip this next stitch and this stitch just here is actually the very last stitch so it's almost on the side so be careful that you're not missing that stitch and we're just going to do a double crochet into that very last stitch. Now all that you do is chain one and turn and you're going to repeat exactly the same thing that you did for your row two so it's a super easy stitch to do. So you're going to start in this very first stitch by doing a double crochet and then a treble crochet. So continue to repeat row two until you get to your desired length. I'm going to go ahead and build a few more rows so that you can see what it starts to look like. So this is what the Suzette stitch is starting to look like. It is a really, really pretty stitch to do and really easy as well. It's one of those stitches where once you've got the hang of it, you can just do it without really thinking. And also what's really nice is the fact that it's reversible. So it's the same on the front as it is to the back. So really, really pretty, makes it really good for like washcloths or um, 
scarves, gloves, throws, anything really. Really, really pretty. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.